Hi all. In this video, we are going to see how we can access the internet from the private VM. So private VM means uh, the VM to which the external IP or a public IP is not assigned. So let's get started. So I'll uh, go to the VM instance page. So I already created uh, one VM uh, called the demo VM and you could see there is no external IP assigned to this VM only the internal IP is assigned to this VM and the VM is created in my custom VPC demo VPC where I added the firewall to access uh, the internet or like for egress traffic so I will SSH into the VM so if you want to know how I can SSH into the VM without external IP you can go through my previous video on IAP so where uh, we can enable the SSH or a login using the IAP to the private VM. So first I'll SSH into the VM and try to access the internet. So let's see how it works. So I logged in to my VM. So let's try to update the packages on the VM using sudo apt update so it will connect through internet and update the packages so now it's trying to connect to package.com package.cloud.google.com so here it's trying to connect but the vm is not having any external ip so it will throw an error for a connection timeout so let's wait for an error So after that, we'll try to ping Google also. So here you could see the could not connect. We could see the error that could not connect to packages.cloud.google.com. Now we'll try to ping google.com and see if we get any response. Okay, so no response. So I'll try to use curl also to see if we get any response from Google. So basically we are not getting any response and it's our VM is not able to access the internet. So how we can access the internet from the VM without external IP. So for this we will use a cloud net. So what is a cloud net? So cloud net lets our resources like VM or Kubernetes engine without external IP address to create an inbound connection to the internet and it will allow to access the internet without any external IP. So let's go to our cloud console and create a cloud net for our VPC. So CloudNet is always on VPC. So if we have multiple VPC, we have to create a multiple CloudNet. Go to network services. I'll go, I'll go from here, net, I'll type net here and I'll go to CloudNet. So currently here is a no NAT available. NAT is like a network address translation. So I'll create new NAT instance here. So here I will give the name as a internet gateway for my NAT and network I'll select demo VPC where my VM is running. Region it will take as a default, Asia South one and a router we have to create one router for NAT. So I will create one router gateway router so everything I will keep as it is and I will create so the destination for NAT is always internet because we are creating NAT for outbound internet connection so I will create a NAT so once a NAT is created I will try to access internet again from my VM
so let's go to vm instance okay and now try to ping google.com now see uh, we are getting response from google's bombay server you could see here bombay which is the near our instance is currently also in mumbai so it's trying to reach the nearest google server and it's giving us a response so let's try to call google.com yeah and we got the http response now again i'll try to update the packages now using sudo apt update so before creation of net it was failing due to connection timeout error now it's updating the packages and in updated the packages within the seconds so this way we can access the internet from a private vm or without external ip using a cloud net thank you for watching the video